Local and TMR agents, how are you guys today? October 23rd, 2023, Rick Rapp here, broker owner of Travers Moran Realty. And today I wanna to talk to everybody about being memorable. Um, it's a very important aspect to think about in your real estate career, is you wanna remain memorable to your friends, to your clients, to your previous clients, maybe to other agents in your area. Whatever it is, the capacity of you as an agent should be to always be memorable in some way, shape, or form. Now, being memorable, memorable can contain a lot of different things. Um, I thought of this because I had somebody that actually direct messaged me about my, my opening, my taking off the glasses. And he was a troll. He was um, had kind of a negative connotation. What a stupid thing. You always take your glasses off as if you're doing something. And I laughed at it, you know, because the truth of the matter is that's memorable. That's something that I do that I've started every video with since I've started these videos. And while it may be hokey, it may be funny, some people may get a kick out of it or think that it's just stupid, it is memorable. I've had people meet me on the street or come into the office and say, hey, there's that guy that takes his glasses off all the time. And I get a kick out of it. Why? Because they remember me. So no matter what capacity you're working in, whether it's expired listings, if you're farming your neighborhood, if you want to work with investors, you want to always be the memorable agent. Now, a very easy kind of philosophy to think about that with is if you have a maybe a friend or a relative, maybe a neighbor that sells or buys real estate and they don't contact you. Obviously, that's going to be very frustrating to you as an agent and you may ask them, you know, what happened? Why didn't you contact me? And more often than not, you're going to hear that response. I forgot. You know, I didn't remember that you were in real estate. I'm so sorry. Next time we buy something, I'll be sure to call you. And we all know the truth in that matter. People don't buy real estate on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Maybe they buy real estate every, you know, three to five years. So what we want to think about is ways that we can make ourselves memorable. And there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, I do that personally myself with a lot of postcards mailing in my farm. Um, I've tried something this year that all, has also been kind of funny. People have gotten a kick out of it. It has made me memorable and people do comment on that a lot. Videos like this to agents in the area and to our team. These are memorable things to do. Uh, phone calls, texts, Facebook posts posting information on the market and what's been happening in your designated area. These are things that can make you a memorable agent. So whether you have money to spend on marketing to remain memorable in your people's minds, or whether you have a very small budget, there are ways to go about this business to remind people that you are in real estate. I had a conversation with somebody a few weeks ago about you know, constantly remaining in touch with previous clients. And to be honest with you, that is not something that I'm great at from a business aspect. I'm not reaching out to people to notify them about real estate if it's not a conversation we're having. But they do remember me uh, as being their agent. And I have had a lot of clients come back to me three, five, seven years later to help assist them in the, the real estate transaction. And that's simply because I was memorable. I was either memorable by doing a remarkable job for them when they sold or purchased their home, or I'm memorable in a way that I just keep in touch with them as if, because they are, you know, friends of mine. They are within my sphere of influence. So if you're having trouble becoming a memorable agent, if you have uh, some kind of flaws that you need to kind of overcome to become memorable. Maybe you're hitting a wall thinking these might be too silly to do or you don't have the approach that you want to take. Come on in, give me a call, shoot me an email, set up something with Genevieve. If you're a new agent in the area or a seasoned agent in the area that's looking for a broker that can really help you with these types of things, reach out to us today. We love to work with all agents in this area. And uh, I look forward to hearing from all of you as always. All right, guys, thanks again for listening and I'll talk to you all again next week. Take care.